What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Riga, Latvia. Let's do this. So we are right here in the old town of Riga, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is Wednesday afternoon. We are going to go through the old town of Riga. We're going to walk along some of the popular areas for shopping and maybe even head over towards the beach. They do have beaches out here in Latvia, but this little area right here is the main city center. You'll want to come here in the evening time. We've got this nice architectural designs. Latvia is one of three Baltic states that are similar. Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. We are on Kalka Iela. I assume Iela in uh, Latvian means avenue or street, but we're going to head kind of through here. Oh, we got some music. Is that Elvis? Oh, I better uh, turn it off if I got some music. I might get a copyright with somebody. <laughs> Actually, I don't think that's Elvis, but uh, let's keep cruising through here. Anyway, I'll tell you some statistics. So Riga is actually the largest city in those three states that I told you about. Latvia is also the largest. I think Latvia in total has about two million people, but the city of Riga has one third of that population, maybe even a little bit more. So uh, Riga is the biggest city. I just left Tallinn. Uh, next day, I will be trying to get over to Lithuania. Uh, so it's just a matter of getting around here. This is a more uh, relaxed experience. Those guys are really rocking, huh? Then what you get in, um, wish I had some money to give them. Let me see if I can. Let's give those guys some money. Some, uh, some euros, we got some euros for these guys. They're rocking. I like supporting those uh, local street guys. All right, so there's a big church right there. Let's see if we can get right next to that. But the big thing that makes Riga a UNESCO heritage destination is its architecture. It was actually part of the European Architectural World Fair or something like this like 19 or 2004 maybe I don't know the exact year along with a city in Sweden there we go look at that beautiful bars outside why not it's 22 degrees Celsius 72 degrees Fahrenheit Good vibes, man. I want to get along the waterfront and show you guys the water. Later on in the video, I'll show you what it looks like down here at night. On my other channel, VertCam, I made a uh, guide or a travel experience, you could call it, going from Tallinn to Riga, which was basically one train and two buses so I had like three layovers no two layovers and an arrival and uh, look at this look at that man if this doesn't make you want to go to Prague I don't know what will get that hop on hop off bus I really need to do more of those because they go to all the cool spots in the city that TripAdvisor just doesn't tell you about. And when you're in a new place, sometimes you just need someone to just be like, just take me, <laughs> show me. <laughs> you probably get like $25, $30 a night hotels if you wanted here in Latvia. 
All right. Well, we're nearby the waterfront. I'll pick up when I get there. So you know what I've noticed? Your experience of a city or a town really depends on the location of your hotel. Not necessarily the quality of your hotel as much as the location. For example, if I'm staying at that Radisson, my experience of Riga is probably a lot different than if I'm staying inside the city center. Crossing these roads over here in Latvia is a bit of a challenge, but it's not too terrible. So here's the old town panorama along the canal. I think I want to do this, but I need a restroom. There's the boat schedule, river cruises. But look at this. Think of a bridge. Very interesting river. That's a big wide mouth river. It connects right into the Baltic. The Baltic has so many rivers that just pour into it. It's like rivers just carved out the Baltic and then it became connected to the ocean. So they do these river cruises. I mean, I just talked to the guy right there. He said it's 12 euros to do a river cruise. You could do a river boat, canal boat. They have a couple different boats. Um, they're going at four o'clock. It's currently uh, three o'clock, but 12 euros for the big boat. And they got a bar on board. They've got a bathroom, all that stuff. It's just one hour. It's like, do I want to wait an hour? He said I can uh, board the ship after 15 minutes after they get there and just sit at the bar and drink. And it's a one hour cruise for 12 euros. I think that's a good price per person, really. So come on over here to uh, see those guys. It's called River Cruises. Uh, right there next to that bridge. They also have a smaller boat. I think that one was like seven euros. But here comes the big boat. Yeah, I like uh, the vibes out here in Riga. Everyone I've met has been real friendly, easygoing, no, no BS, no riffraff, no anything, no problems. Straight shooters, friendly, you know. Just like you like to go hang out, chill out. Everyone around here is just good, good vibes. Oh wow. It's a beautiful day. All right, so I got a Lynchburg, Lynchburg lemonade. Uh, so, yeah. That's uh, with vodka instead of Jack Daniels, though. So when you come to... The Riga, Riga Black Balsam. Riga Black Balsam. They got Cherry, Courant, and Original. You said which one? The all original? of them. You all have of to them. always try all of them. So if you come to Riga and you want the original alcohol, you got to try those. But for now, I tried the Latvian lemonade. It's like a, more like a Latvian mule. Ginger ale and vodka with some other special ingredients. So this is my second Latvian lemonade. Tastes great. Uh, landscapes in Riga and Latvia. Yeah, yeah. Edgar Mikkelsen's. And we are now going past the Grand Palace Hotel as we continue to explore Riga here in Latvia. Look at that beautiful church there. It's a beautiful day. Maybe 23 degrees Celsius, 73, 74 degrees. This is a war museum. Uh, what was the war that was fought here? It was a NATO Latvia battle group. They displayed from first World of War to second World of War and even earlier than that. Yeah, so if you want to learn about the history of these Baltic states, this would be a good museum for you to visit. We got a nice little area with a park and a statue there. 
And if you look way up in the sky, you could see there's somebody actually flying a paraglider. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, a very nice square that we have here. All right, Dazu und Parki, I think that's what it's called. Lots of roses. You know, I was looking at Riga on the map compared to Copenhagen. It turns out Copenhagen is actually uh, lower or further south than Riga. So Riga's up there. We're not, I thought I was heading further south, but just turns out Tallinn and Finland are way up there. Very floral city. Yeah, okay. So here we are in front of the Riga Nativity of Christ Orthodox Cathedral. Very lavish design there. Okay. Now we are on Stabu Aila, I think that's how you say it. It's like the main drag, they got this rail for the uh, rail cars that you saw just go by right there. Nordman, Nord is uh, north. It's like the Quebec Nordiques. Why were they called the Quebec Nordiques? Because they were the Northmen, Nordmen. It's just French, but Norway. North way. So anytime you see that, that's what they're basically talking about. Yeah, this is like a shopping street right here in the middle of town. I'm actually going to head back towards the Old Town City Center, where most of the UNESCO World Heritage stuff is. But I figured I'd show you guys this, uh, this road here during the afternoon. It's a Wednesday afternoon, actually. Trying to get on a hop on hop off bus. Yeah, so my next main stop along the way is uh, going to be Lithuania, but after that, Poland. So I'm assuming Poland will be more of a mainstay for me. Look at this little Greyhound. He's allowed to be off the leash. But his sister? No. Or his other brother, I don't know. But yeah, the vibes around here. Relaxed. No real pressure from anyone. No concerns. Everything seems very normal, safe, secure. You know, you kind of feel like you just blend in. No matter who you are, everyone just goes about their business. Park Inn, that looks like a nice place. You got sushi at the bottom. I like it. I like Riga. I find it to be a uh, chilled out place just like the other Baltic states. It's definitely different than uh, Estonia though. If you're expecting them to be similar, they are in the sense that they're on the Baltic, but it's a totally different rock vibe here in Riga that you get in Tallinn. And what you get in Tallinn is different than what you get in Helsinki. None of them are really too similar, but they're different countries. So, you know. Well, they have this nice little water park. Well, the park is like lake or stream on both sides. Right when you get close to the uh, old town area. All right, we've made it back into the old town. Beautiful old town here. 
Well, I saw the Rock Cafe, so I stopped in. Let's look at the menu. And I got a Brooklyn beer. I usually do local beer, but I like Brooklyn beer, honestly. Well, in the spirit of eating healthier, I'm getting a salad. Okay, so after hanging out at the Rock Cafe, we are now going to head into the Old Town. All right. Getting closer, huh? Nice little area there. There's that big church, cathedral. It's hard to say that this city reminds me of any other European city, actually. I'm not really thinking it does. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this episode of Island Hopper TV from Riga, out here in Latvia. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing. We shall see you on the next one.